Hi, Spencer here at the workshop of Classic Violins to take a look today about instrument storage and putting your things away in your case. This might seem like a really simple concept, but there's a couple things that are important to keep in mind, especially if you're new to this. So let's say you've just finished practicing and you've already wiped down your instrument with your nice cleaning cloth. Um, you've loosened your bow before you put it away and it's time to put everything into the case. So let's take a look inside. Most student violin cases are what they might call a dart-shaped case, um, which is kind of violin shape. It's narrower at one end than it is at the other. To start, we'll put away our bow. The bow just slides into one end, and the bow itself oops, is going to be contained in this nice little area here. You see it only fits one way because of the screw. And there is this thing called a bow spinner, which is a little latch that turns from side to side to keep the bow locked in place. It's really important to make sure that the bow is held securely in place. Otherwise, when you close the case, it will fall on top of your instrument. The next thing to put away is the instrument itself. And you notice we've got a shoulder rest on here. Now, if we just put the instrument into the case as it is with the shoulder rest, we see there's a problem. The instrument really doesn't fit inside correctly. The scroll does, but it's really lifted out hard from the case. If I try and shut the case now, you see it won't close. Um, the obvious thing is that we need to remove the shoulder rest, but some people will try and do this without removing the shoulder rest, and the result can be something like this, where the bridge of the instrument actually gets smashed into the top, which can cause the instrument to get very badly damaged, um, sometimes beyond repair. So we want to avoid doing that, right? So we need to obviously remove our shoulder rest. That's great, shoulder rest comes off nice and easy. We'll put the violin in the case, undoing this Velcro neck strap if your case has one to help hold the instrument in place for transit. And we might even have this nice blanket, they call it, that goes over top of the instrument to protect it from the bow. Now the question is, what do you do with all these other things? Well, for your shoulder rest, the tendency is a lot of people will think, oh, I've got a little space next to the instrument here, I'm going to try and jam this in. Well, you see it doesn't really fit very well, and when it does, it's rattling around touching the instrument pegs. This can cause your pegs to get knocked out of tune, or worse, to actually get broken from the shoulder rest rolling around in here. So we really don't want to put that in there. You can even see it's a little difficult to get out, which is not really great. For storing a shoulder rest in a case like this, or in any case that doesn't have enough space inside, we recommend something like a shoulder rest bag. This is just a little drawstring bag that the shoulder rest nicely fits inside. I can cinch this up with the button here. And then this can clip onto one of the rings or the outside handles of your case to keep your shoulder rest attached and with everything else. Other items that might commonly need to be stored are your pencils, which you should always have at least one, right? We also don't want to drop these into this convenient space in the instrument case here for the same reason. These will fit just fine, but as you move the instrument around in transit, these are going to fly all over the place, and they can actually get up past this and roll around on your instrument, which can very badly damage the varnish. Anything like pencils should always be stored in an outside zipper pocket of your case. If your case does not have a zipper pocket, or if you are like me and you just broke your zipper pocket, you might want to have instead a backpack or a separate bag that you can store these things in. Same goes for larger things like the metronome. If it doesn't fit in the small pockets of your case, you'll want to store this externally. Music as well. Sometimes people will be wanting to, in a rush to get home, throw it on top of their instrument. That's not a good idea for the same reason we discussed before. That will get pressed into the instrument and can cause the bridge to get damaged or the top of the instrument to get damaged. Again, slide these into the top of your case, a folder, or a secondary backpack if you need. Once everything's all where it needs to be and properly stored, putting the blanket back on top. While the instrument is laying flat still on a table or a nice surface, not on your music stand and not while you're holding it, zip the case shut so everything is securely fastened down before you lift it up. Otherwise, quite oftentimes people will get excited, get distracted, lift up the case by the handle and everything goes falling out. So, this stuff might seem really remedial, but especially for a beginner, or even for an adult that needs a refresher and you might be wondering why your instrument's going out of tune or things have gotten damaged because it was in the case, we hear occasionally, I just opened the case and it was like that, these could be reasons why. If you have any questions about your setup, perhaps looking for a bigger case if you have a lot of things you need to take with you on a routine basis, 
give us a call here and we'll be happy to show you some other case options and perhaps talk about other things you can do for your storage needs. If you have any other questions about your instrument, maintenance, storage, or anything else pertaining to Violin Family Instruments, give us a call or leave a comment here and we'll try and answer them in future videos. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.